have you ever wondered what this flat critical stat does and how this could possibly translate to 17.34% crit? If you have, then you have come to the right video. Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace and this is an applied math video with a little bit of Tower of Fantasy. In this video, we will be talking about the critical stat, how it converts to the percentage and the different factors that it depends on. And to get there, I'll talk about the methodology that I used to actually arrive at that conclusion. But before we get into it, I need to caveat this. I am not a theory crafter YouTuber. I'm just a normie YouTuber. For all of you who are like, oh man, this theory crafting YouTuber sucks. It's not me. I'm not a theory crafter. I don't know. I don't know shit about shit, dude. I don't want to get flamed anymore for doing any theory crafting, for doing any number crunching. I'm just a researcher. I just run experiments, okay? And so with that, let's switch out of the game because on this channel, we don't really play the game and into the spreadsheet itself. So the thing is that I wasn't really lying when I was talking about linear math and how this would be applied math. And if you really do want to understand this video, then there will be some pre-reading, there will be some pre-watching. I recommend Khan Academy. You will need to learn about the slope, you'll learn a lot about the intercept, and you'll learn a little bit about like the equations and like how all of this can be almost applied to crit rate, which is what we're looking at today. So yeah, if you don't really understand what's going on, I would recommend like these kinds of videos. But with that, let's just dive into it. And as you can see, it is all graphs. It's literally all graphs and data and equations and pain. So the first thing that I want to point out and kind of where we all started was with this level, this crit, this crit rate thing, and uh, how exactly the 17.34% crit is calculated. What a lot of people have noticed is that as you level up, so I'm level 61 right now, as you level up, your crit, the same amount of crit will give you less percentage crit rate. So 2352 at level 61 is worth less at level 62. You will actually need more crit to achieve the same amount of crit rate, 17.34. And so because of this observation, we can tell that there are primarily two variables that are going to be affecting your crit rate. This one over here in the tooltip. It's going to be the level as well as this crit flat. So I'm going to refer to this one down here as crit flat. I'm going to refer to this as crit tooltip or crit rate. And so coming back to the spreadsheet over here, you can see level 61, crit flat with various numbers as well as crit tooltip. So my methodology was essentially, I wanted to gather a whole bunch of different data points as you can see over here and then map them onto a graph and then find a trend line, see if there are actually any trends. As you can see, it was linear and it was linear at every single level. What I specifically did was that I went into the game and then I varied some things to vary my crit. So for example, what you see my frig weapon, the Bao Monk, has crit on here. I would change this out for something else, say for example, the Nemesis one, which has a different amount of crit, 281, and that's going to actually change my crit, 2161, and I have lost a little bit of crit rate from the tooltip. I then proceeded to do more and more variations until I actually got a lot of different combinations. So I just took the rosy edge off and then put on like bilings, etc, etc. And that is how I ended up with a whole bunch of data points that look like that. So this one is me. With these data points, I plotted a graph with the crit flat on the x-axis and the crit tooltip on the y-axis because I wanted to see with all other things held constant, how exactly crit flat affects your crit tooltip. And my God, the results, it's actually just purely linear. It's actually a fully straight line. So from here, what I had was a graph and this graph had an equation with the slope 7.37 times 10 to the power of negative five plus an intercept 7.88 times 10 to the negative 6. And so what exactly these numbers mean is that for every one point of flat crit I get, I gain 0.00737% crit. However, to make it a little bit more digestible, for every 1000 points of crit flat I have, you gain 7.37% crit. And so I tested this by running in this number over here. You can see 1700 multiplied by 0.00737, which is what I have over here. And it gave me 12.529% crit rate. And this guy, 1700, sits between 1728 and 1637. So it's actually in between here, 12.529%. It sounds about right. And if you're wondering what the R squared is, it's essentially like how fitted is this line? R squared equals one means that the line is perfect. It's perfectly linear. But back to it, my guys, what we also know is that level also actually affects your crit tooltip. And so I went scouring. I went through the discords. I went through my discord. I went through like Ida Cafe. I went through a whole bunch of different places. And I've got a few participants who were able to actually get me 
the values of what I just did before, the crit flat and the crit tooltip at different levels. So shout out to you, Koro, from my crew. Shout out to Medrith over here. Shout out to Jay and shout out to Noni P. And with their help, we were able to essentially make a whole bunch of these linear graphs. And as you can see from every single one of these graphs, they're actually completely straight and they are perfectly fitting. So what that means is that the level may change something, but it's not actually going to change the way that the graph looks. It's always going to be straight. It's always going to be linear. What it does change, however, is the coefficient, the slope coefficient. And what that means is essentially the growth stat. So if I was to compare this one with this one, for example, this one is level 54 data. This one has 8.54 times 10 to the negative five. And what that means is that for every 1000 points of crit, at level 54, I will actually gain 8.54% crit. Versus level 60 down here, you can see for every 1,000 points of crit, I can only have 7.52% crit rate. And so that, my guys, is how crit rate is calculated for every single level. For level 54, it's 8.54 times 10 to the power of negative 5 multiplied by your x. Your x being like, okay, if you wanted to project if you had 2000 crit flat, then you would be able to plug that into here as x multiplied by x, and then that will give you your crit rate plus a little bit of this over here, this intercept. Now, generally speaking, what the intercept represents is essentially the lowest amount of crit that you can have. So if my crit flat was zero, how much would my crit rate be? It'd be pretty much zero because that's how small these numbers are. And so that's why I took this part, this intercept as more negligible because if you have like a thousand points of crit and you have like 7.23% of crit and you're trying to add on like another 0.001 or so, it's not exactly impactful, but I think it actually does come and bite me in the ass a little bit later. So with all of this data, the only conclusion that I could make was that at the same level, all of your crit flat is going to linearly change your crit tooltip by the same rate. Now, what I did next was I took for every level, the coefficient and the slope coefficient, how exactly your level changes this coefficient over here. And that is exactly what I did. I went over here, I took the conversions and then I plotted them. Level 61, level 62, level 60, 737. Come back over here, 737. And then my God, it's linear again. It's literally linear, the amount of loss that you have in between each level. And what I mean by that is that as you go from level 54 to level 56, we know that your crit flat is worth less. How much less exactly? This graph tells you right here. And so the conclusion that you can really draw from this graph is that for every level you gain, you lose a little bit of crit flat efficiency, which is essentially what we already knew. But the difference is that now this time we actually have numbers to it. So if I'm at level 54, then my efficiency is at 0.0000854. But if I go up to level 56, then the multiplier, that coefficient, is going to be 0.0000817. What this equation over here describes is that for every one level I gain, I lose 1.63 times 10 to the negative six worth of crit rate efficiency. And so what I just interpreted was the slope of the graph. Now, this time the intercept is actually two orders of magnitudes bigger than this one over here, which means that we cannot simply ignore this one. And so what we have here is finally a whole bunch of different equations that we can possibly equate together to find the equation for crit rate dependent on crit flat and your level. Now, this is the part where it's gonna get a little bit dank, right? What we do know is that for linear graphs, the equation is y equals mx plus c, where m is that coefficient, c is that extra little bit on the end, and y is your, well, y-axis, and x is your x-axis. And so for the first graph, we have on the x the crit flat, and on the y, the crit tooltip. And I'm gonna put exactly that into our equation that I just showed you before. So on the y was the crit tooltip, aka your crit rate, so crit percent. And then what we have was the m, multiplied by your X on the X axis was your crit flat. And so therefore, this is what it looks like so far. Now, remember that I said the plus C was negligible because it was just so infinitely small. Now, this one over here is 7.88, this is the plus C. And so for the purposes of this calculation, I was going to ignore it. Well, I did ignore it and then I got, I got freaking kicked for it, I think. I think I got freaking scammed, but it's okay because the end results are actually extremely, extremely close. Now, so we have crit percent equals m times crit flat. Now, I'm gonna flick back over to the spreadsheet over here. And you need to think about what exactly is m? What exactly is this thing that is multiplying against x? 
This is the slope and this is the conversion rate. This guy represents the conversion from flat crit to crit percentage. So I'm gonna literally call it conversion back over on the paint over here. I'm gonna call it con multiplied by crit flat. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna say con is therefore equal to crit percent over here over crit flat because if I divide by crit flat on both sides or if I quote unquote move it over previously it was multiplying now it's dividing and this is now crit flat so you can see I have a formula for conversion this conversion can be calculated by taking crit percent over crit flat which is your rise over run now what we have is our first equation over here we have a formula that relates the crit percent to the crit flat and the conversion that we get for every single crit flat we get. Back on the spreadsheet over here, I'm gonna scroll across and what you will notice is another graph, another linear graph. So Y equals MX plus C again. Y is your conversion. What? Conversion is equal to some multiplier, your slope multiplied by your X, which is your level plus an intercept plus C. And so I'm gonna write out exactly that. Y conversion equals M, which is this guy over here, X, which is level, plus C. And so this is our second formula. Con conversion is equal to M times level plus C. And the M we found out before from this graph, it's actually 1.63 times 10 to the negative six. And then on the other hand, we have the 1.73 times 10 to the negative four for the intercept. And with that, that is going to give us a second equation for the conversion. And I have another one over here, con is equal to con, therefore crit percent over crit flat is equal to this monster over here, which will look like this over here. Crit percent over crit flat is equal to this monster over here. And then just by multiplying both sides with the crit flat, you see to get rid of this over here, to move it to the other side, quote unquote, you multiply. And then so you can see this whole thing in brackets multiplied by crit flat. And now we have an equation for crit percentage. Took a lot of work, but we actually got here and I think this actually holds true for the most part. And so here are a bunch of different numbers that I was just testing to actually try out if our formula worked. So I presented the crit flat, I gave them also a level, and then it's going to hopefully output me a crit rate and then I just convert that to a percentage. And so remember, and probably in a nicer format, you can see over here, crit rate is equal to negative 1.63 times 10 to the power of negative six multiplied by level. All of this plus 1.73 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative four and all of that in brackets multiplied by crit flat. And that is exactly what I did with these numbers over here. I took a crit flat, which is gonna satisfy that part of the equation. I took a level, level 61, which will satisfy this part. And then I did the calculation, punched it into a calculator or into Excel and I got a final crit rate. 12.71, so for level 61, 1728, let's go back to our data and see if that holds true. 61, 1728, it is going to be 12.75 for the crit tooltip. 12.75, I'm gonna come back over here for 1728, 12.75, 1728, 1728, 12.71. So you see that there is a margin of error. And I suspect that came when I started ignoring the intercept over here, which is a, it's a little bit of a, you know, a rookie error. But essentially, I run through a couple more different numbers and the error margin is actually not that great. It's always like, oh, 12.71 versus 12.75. For a lot of them, they were actually really close, like 17.02. It actually turned out to be 17.03, et cetera, et cetera. But that, my guys, is how I came to the crit rate formula over here. This one. I, I can't read it one more time. It's just, it's just too much, man. Now, this is the part where we're kind of like, okay, well, after all of that, now we have an equation for crit rate. So what? The first thing to note is that this crit rate is only calculated from your level and your crit flat. So what that means is that in the tooltip for 1728 crit, we get 12.71% crit rate. Plus that flat crit rate that you actually see underneath the crit flat stat. So it would be, for example, if you had plus 5% crit rate, it would go from 12.71% to 15.71%. That is the first interaction. However, the more interesting interaction is between crit rate, damage, and crit damage. So if you guys have played like Genshin Impact, you guys know there is some like diminishing returns of like as you get more damage versus as you get more crit rate 
versus as you get more crit damage. These three concepts, attack, crit rate, and crit damage, they can actually be optimized so that you can see at your point in time right now with these stats, crit flat, crit level, with my crit damage, with this attack, which one is going to give me the most gains, right? Because it's not actually all equal. I've done some pretty early calculations and what we have is crit, crit damage, vault attack, or whatever attack you're using. Generally speaking, at this point in the game, crit is going to be the biggest impact crit uh, crit flat aka your crit rate it's going to have the biggest impact on your overall dps to be honest at this point this one is more of a trust me bro but i'm not a theory crafter so don't theory craft at me but that is certainly going to be one of my upcoming videos the optimization between crit crit damage and attack however for crit rate and crit flat and all of that that is essentially as far as i actually got to uh to these equations and finding a relatively easy way of calculating crit rate with your crit flat and your level as you guys did see though when we went to apply the formula it was actually prone to error we did have like small margins of error and so if i do you have anyone viewing, anyone watching this video that is a little bit stronger in math because math is not exactly my strong point, then please try to convert this freaking crappy formula or the learnings that we've done in this video, this whole methodology into something a little bit more digestible, right? Because not only did I emit the intercept on these guys over here, I also actually did not use very good significant figures. So 1.63, it is actually like 1.635792 or whatever. And same goes for the 1.731 as well. And so yeah, any math math dudes that come across this video please help me out this is the part that I'm struggling with like this is not really digestible and I'll be sure to clickbait you guys somehow like using linear algebra to find the crit rate equation or something something like that I don't know but uh yeah let's uh let's actually call it quits there I'm so freaking fried dude so this is probably like the most in-depth video I've ever made in like a YouTube career like, in my life actually who the frick brings up like these x intercepts y intercepts or slopes or whatever plus c y equals mx plus c into a game right and so what I wanted to ask you guys was, did you guys actually follow? Like, did this actually make sense if you guys did have the linear algebra background? Or was it a little bit too dank? Like, you preferred to have just not watched this video kind of thing. Regardless, let me know down in the comments below. And remember, I'm not a theory crafter. So don't theory craft at me. But if you did enjoy this video or found it kind of cool, you know, this uh, this research kind of thing, then please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. However, as a... Uh, as my lion graphs once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.